hello guys welcome to another video today today's topic we'll be talking about femininity and masculinity as you've all seen the topic of discussion i've been wondering about these words like is it just a word or does it really go deeper but we're going to find out today um it's a research that i've done and i'm willing to share my knowledge with you all Okay, let's start with what is femininity femininity is described as a collection of attributes um, behaviors and roles generally considered womanly or girly the characteristics of a woman nature considered to be feminine include nurturing um, sweetness and sensitivity these behaviors are, these behaviors are influenced by biological and cultural factors now what is masculinity masculinity is described as a group of attributes behaviors and roles that is considered manly or boyish the characteristics of a man that is considered to be masculine include um, domineering attitude um, focused and um, straight list now let's talk about a little history to describe how society decided to give a description to each of these one femininity and masculinity but i'll be going in detail with femininity first off there is little scientific agreement about defining the words femininity and masculinity among scholars the concept of femininity has very meaning professor of english tara williams has suggested that modern notion of femininity in english-speaking society began during the medieval period at the time of the bubonic plague within the 1300s women within the middle ages were simply named within their traditional roles of maiden wife or widow after the black death in england expunged approximately half of the population traditional gender roles of wife and mothers changed and opportunities open for women in the society the words femininity and womanhood was first recorded in chaucer around 1380 french intellectual simon de beauvoir wrote that no biological psychological or economic fate determines determines the figure that the human female presents in the society and that one is not born but rather becomes a woman the concept was learned within the year 1959 by the canadian american sociologist Erwin goffman and in 1990 by american philosopher judith butler who theorized that gender is not fixed or inherent but rather a socially defined set of practices and traits that have over time grown to become labeled as feminine or masculine government the same american sociologist argued that women are socialized to present themselves as precious ornamental and fragile uninstructed in and ill-suited for anything requiring muscular exertion and to project shyness reserve and a display of frailty fear and incompetence second wave feminists influenced by the um, beauvoir the same french intellectual believe that although biological differences between females and males are innate the concept of femininity and masculinity has been culturally constructed with traits like passivity and tenderness assigned to women and aggression and intelligence assigned the to men. second way feminists also added that girls were then socialized with toys games television and school into conforming to feminine values and behaviors 
the American feminist Betty Naomi Fryden, in our significant 1963 book, The Feminine Mystic, the Feminine Mystic was the name of the book. So she wrote that the key to female subjugation lay within the social construction of femininity as childlike, passive, and dependent, and she called for a drastic reshaping of the cultural image of femininity. Next stop, let's talk about is it one role that will fit all? And the answer to this question is no. Some occupations require certain feminine attributes. Likewise, some jobs will require a specific male attribute. For the very fact that these roles are also influenced by what society considers womanly or manly. This is to say that mostly, however we grow up, may shape how we think or behave, which all depends on the individual's cultural environment. Of course, genetic is the most vital factor that will determine how we think and behave. Other parts of behavior are learned depending on what is most beneficial for our survival. However, gender role reversal can occur in settings when one parent is unavailable, causing the available parent to take over the role of the missing parent. Naturally, humans are wired to survive. So throughout our lifetime, there may be a shift between our feminine and masculine attributes to help us cope with life. Now we must embody all parts of ourselves in order to survive. We should also be able to understand when it is necessary to express these traits to cope well with life now we will be discussing on um, toxic femininity what is toxic femininity toxic femininity involves the cultural pressures for ladies to behave in a certain way and these likely affect all girls and women in some fashion toxic femininity encourages silent acceptance of violence and domination to survive I'll be giving examples of toxic femininity. So listen to this carefully. For example, a woman not letting herself eat anything but a salad on a date. Another example is when buying a present for a lady, she reaches for something soft, sweet and non-threatening. Another one here is if it is essential for a lady to have a lengthy and complicated nightly facial. Okay, hear this one. This one is when a parent insists on piercing the ears of a moment-old girl, baby, to ensure she looks ornamented and sufficiently pretty. I believe this last example holds true for many females, which is every sweater in a woman's closet is thinner and frailer than any in a man's closet. Now, this is the problem. The insecurity persists because the toxic ingrained woman wonders if she is appearing adequately alluring and undemanding. This is often not merely sexism, but toxic femininity. Although they are both partners in crime, sexism is targeted at robbing women of status and rights why toxic femininity is about defining womanhood so shallowly that a lady feels degendered by basic human acts or neutral preferences. It's now time to discuss um, toxic masculinity because it doesn't make sense to discuss toxic femininity and leaving the other. So what is toxic masculinity? According to Very Well Mind website, toxic masculinity involves the cultural pressures for men to behave in an exceedingly certain way and this likely affects all boys and men in some fashion. It refers to the notion that some person's idea of manliness perpetuates domination, homophobia and aggression. Although this has three parts to it. The first part is toughness which is a notion that men should be physically strong, emotionally callous and behaviorally 
aggressive the second part to it is anti-femininity this typically involves the thought that men should reject anything that is considered to be feminine like showing emotion or accepting help the third part to this is power this is the assumption that men must work towards obtaining power and status be it social or financial so they can gain the respect of others basically toxic masculinity has so many cons because it also encourages unhealthy habits for example the notion that self-care is for ladies men have been made to believe that they should treat their bodies like machines by skimping on sleep working out even when they are injured and pushing themselves to their physical limits additionally toxic masculinity prevents men from seeing a doctor this will affect their mental state because treating mental illnesses such as depression anxiety substance use disorder is considered a weakness for this my men. conclusion to all we've discussed so far will be learn which group you belong to and if you can't seem to fit into a specific category that's fine as i've explained before a number of these traits are learned and sometimes people switch gender roles to fulfill a specific need the necessity to be specific is kind of outdated and now is the time to embrace who you are and love who you are finally happiness is all that matters do not let anyone make you feel less than what you are simply because you do not fit into society's idea of what you ought to be and that is all i have for you guys today thank you for tuning in i tried to find a specific video that explains everything in detail like this and it's kind of hard to find one so i decided to make one so don't forget to spread this knowledge to everybody if it's beneficial to you best believe it will be beneficial to other people as well so don't forget to press the like button it will help push this video to other audiences so they can gain this information and do not forget to subscribe so you can continue to get videos like this in the future so see you on my next video Bye bye